The final episode of The Book of Boba Fett Season 1 has finally arrived. There's quite a few twists and turns in this episode, so of course, spoiler warning ahead if you don't want to be spoiled on the final episode. But we were given a beautiful scene of Boba Fett versus Cad Bane. Now for those of you who watched the episode, you know what the outcome was. Now whilst it does look like Cad Bane had been brutally murdered by Boba Fett, there were certainly a few easter eggs, both visual and audible, that suggests otherwise. In today's video, we're going to be looking at all those easter eggs the director had given us, and hopefully prove to those watching this video that Cad Bane might not be dead after all. Before I jump into it, I gotta suggest you guys joining our Discord channel. Over 3,000 of you have joined so far, and a lot of you are talking about the book of Boba Fett, Star Wars Empire War, and other Star Wars games coming very soon. So if you're interested in joining the community and making a few Star Wars friends, invite code to the Discord in the pinned comment down below. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into the video. So let's discuss the Cad Bane death scene. It starts off with a classic western fast draw and it's very clear Cad Bane still has it as he absolutely decimates Boba Fett in drawing before he can. Boba Fett tries to retaliate with a flamethrower but just gets annihilated yet again by Cad. And then Cad's monologue about Django Fett raised some interesting questions about whether or not Boba's dad is actually proud of him. But in reality, it's more about how Django Fett is a murderer and so is Boba Fett as he has it running through his blood. He's not the type of character to go straight. He's a bounty hunter and a killer. He completely disarms Boba from his weapon and then briefly mentions how he beat him out in a job in the past. But with all the dialogue out of the way, Boba Fett successfully retaliates by using his Gadarifi stick, a weapon bestowed to him thanks to the Tusken Raiders that we saw in episodes 1-4, to and is swiftly able to turn the tides so that Cad Bane is on the floor and Boba is back up on his feet. Cad reiterates his point that Boba is a killer, almost trying to call him out on his bluff that he hasn't changed at all, and Boba does exactly that by piercing him straight through the stomach. It could be his liver, it's hard to say, but it's definitely too low to be at the heart directly. So that's the scene. That's what happens to Cad Bane. That is how he is killed off in the final episode of The Book of Boba Fett. So let's go through this piece by piece and break down what we might have missed and why Cad Bane might not actually be dead after all. The first one is pretty big. The head cap that we see on Cad Bane after his hat falls off when he falls to the floor is an extremely telling piece of information from the Clone Wars TV series that was never actually made canon. In the show, Cad did take Boba under his wing, but ultimately the pair ended up turning against one another. And in the unfinished scene, we see another quick fire draw between Boba and Cad but this time both drew at the exact same time shooting each other in the head. In the deleted scene we can actually see Cad put a dent in Boba's helmet which we do see in the Mandalorian and the book of Boba Fett. Alongside that when Cad Bane appeared in the Bad Batch we see an armor plating on the top of his head as he pulls his hat down showing us that this scene is actually canon and nobody really got to see it. So the fact that this Clone Wars scene is canon is extremely important because rewind 30 minutes back in the same episode, Boba Fett and Cad Bane were going to have their fast duel a little earlier. And in that scene, Boba discreetly mentions his advantage of having armor on. A bit of a weird thing to say in such a tense moment, but it actually makes sense when we look back at that deleted scene from the Clone Wars. Boba survived thanks to his armor, and it's pretty obvious Cad didn't, and required cybotic parts to his skull to survive. The question is, is the head dome the only droid part of his body? The breathing ventilator isn't human either, so the possibility of surviving a killing strike by Boba might be possible. If you've watched the entire season of the book of Boba Fett, the ability to survive beyond your life expectancy thanks to droid parts isn't a foreign concept anymore. It's in fact a running theme in the book of Boba Fett. Not just with the droid enhanced bikers gang, but also with Fennec Shand. As we saw, she would have been dead if it wasn't for those droid parts. So if that theme was to cross over to Cad Bane, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Second of all, as I mentioned earlier, Cad Bane does have breathing ventilators. One of the main purposes of this was to survive force choking from Sith or perhaps even Jedis. This body enhancement may have extended Cad Bane's life expectancy in some way, but also could allow him to survive a killing strike from Boba. 
This second point does bleed a bit more into my first point regarding droid parts and living beyond your life expectancy, but the third point isn't. This is mostly focused on the unusual device on Cad Bane's jacket, which is starting to bleep once he took critical damage. So as he was knocked down on the floor by Boba Fett and he reiterates that Boba is a killer, we can see these four squares on the left side of his chest. The bottom left square is very red but doesn't blink when he's talking. As soon as he's stabbed, that light starts blinking. And it's a very unusual thing to do. Why would it start blinking after he was killed or taken serious damage? Now, regarding this point, I have two very big theories on this. The first one is that this device is associated to his breathing ventilators, almost like it's some sort of chest respirator system kicking in. Now that Cad Bane has taken some serious damage, this respirator has activated because one of his lungs have collapsed thanks to Boba so he might still be provided oxygen while he's laying on the floor. The second one makes me think it could be some sort of emergency beacon. Now that Cad might possibly die, some unknown organization might hone in on his location. At the end of the day, however, what it is, is unknown. But I find it extremely strange that the director has prominently featured this in numerous scenes after Cad was stabbed. Directors don't like to hide this information for you to find out later on. And to have Cad Bane truly be murdered and then have this scene after his death doesn't really make sense. There's too many hints to suggest that this might actually be a fake out. And the fourth and final point is the music that they were using on the final moments of Cad Bane. For a very brief moment, we actually hear some heart thumping behind the music as the camera pans over Cad Bane. Maybe it's me, but it's not really the type of sound effect you want to be using as somebody is dying. My first thought would be the thumping slowing down to a halt or some sort of hospital heartbeat line going dead. But the continuous thumping of the heart, not so much. The fact that they even included this sound effect after all is extremely telling. And it's very clear that they've put in so much work developing this live action Cad Bane. To only use him in two episodes and kill him off seems like a bit of a waste to me. I know Eckhart Slatter has talked about how they're going to use that in stories about Cad Bane prior to the Book of Boba Fett, but I think people want to see more of this character and continue living beyond this series. But that's where I digress and pass the question over to you guys. What do you think about Cad Bane's death? Have I actually convinced you that this might be a fake out and he's alive after all? Or do you think that this is the end of the character's arc and there's nothing really much to say anymore about Cad Bane beyond the book of Boba Fett? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I read all of them and I'll get back to some of you as well. Last but not least, again, if you love everything Star Wars and Star Wars gaming, definitely join our Discord in the pinned comment down below. We have a really warm community and lots of friends to be made. So if you're interested in that, we'd love to see you there. But besides that, guys, I've been Charlie. You've been watching X2 and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.